up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook it too. Always with the beer or whiskey, but he cooks responsibly. Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us. I've got an exciting video for you today. We're cooking a peanut butter bacon cheeseburger. It's a mouthful, but believe me when I say this is the best burger I've ever tasted, all right? Back this past January in 2019, my buddy Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue actually put up a video making this specific burger. And it's a burger that one of his fans requested that lives in Pennsylvania. There's a brewery called Two Rivers Brewery in Pennsylvania that makes this and it's won all kind of awards it's a great tasting burger i appreciate greg letting me uh steal some ideas from his video and we're going to try to see if we can uh repeat it because i'm telling you what when justin had a bunch of youtubers over at his house recently greg was there and greg made us this burger and it is the absolute best burger i've ever tasted all right so i'm gonna make it for all you guys out there if you're not familiar with greg's channel ballistic barbecue just check up here man or down below in the description box Show them some love. Tell them old T-Roy sent you. <laughs> uh, guys, let's get to it, man. It's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of time, you know, but uh, it's, it's a real simple burger and it tastes phenomenal. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm, trust me on that, all right? Let me show you what goes in this. All right, we're going to start off with a tablespoon or so olive oil. So I got some, uh, some shallot and some red bell pepper in here. The actual recipe will be down below, guys. Y'all check that. I'll just hit show more. So the shallot and the red bell pepper, we're just gonna to toss around in this oil and probably take about five, seven minutes, something like that to get it softened up. We'll bring y'all right back when that happens. Everything's starting to look pretty soft. Now we need to add some other stuff. This is actually gonna be our uh, red bell pepper chili grass, uh, gastrique. And again, check out below in the description box for the recipe. That's orange juice. Chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. This is lemon and lime juice. Apple cider vinegar. Cumin. Throw in some salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. A little bit of sugar in there. Counterbalance that uh, acidic. Yeah, a little bit more. There you go. All right, now give us a good stir. Mix everything up. And we're going to let this reduce by half and after that we're going to blend it so y'all stay tuned man we also need to get some other stuff going so let's uh let's get started on pickling some red onion now while our gastrique on the burner over there is reducing by half get you some uh, red onion slice it pretty doggone thin you know this is going to be topping for the burger get you some nice kosher salt what you want to do if i do the right side here old t-roy cover this with salt just like that. Toss it all around. Okay. Just load it up with salt, man. We're going to let this sit for about half an hour. And then we're going to rinse the salt off. And I'll show you the next step. Now what we're going to do, we're going to sear the burger at first. And then we're going to uh, put it on the indirect and let it finish cooking until it's like a medium, medium rareish. I've got the slowest sear in here. And I pulled out the water pan. It gives you a lot more space for some uh, charcoal. And I've got lump. This is oak lump. I was just trying to empty a bag. That's why I'm using this. We'll go ahead and light one of those tumbleweed starters. We're going to let the coals go while the gastrique is still reducing and while the red onions are uh, getting that salt all absorbed into them. All right, this is getting pretty thick on me over here, and it's, uh, it's at least reduced by half. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn the heat off. We're going to bring this inside, we're going to put it in a food processor, and we're going to blend all this together. And that's going to be our, basically our condiment, okay? All right, we're about 15 minutes in. Go ahead and toss the red onion around, just to make sure it's getting coated really well. You can already feel the moisture coming out of the uh, red onions there. All right, now, we need to do some other stuff, so what you need to do is cook some bacon. These burgers are going to have bacon on them, so go ahead and cook you some bacon either in the oven or if your grill's already hot. Do it on your grill, however you want to do it, but get you some bacon going. We also need to make some peanut brittle powder. That's going to be like a little topping or 
You'll see. <laughs> let's, let's make that now, all right, while we're sitting around waiting for all this other stuff to get going. And guys, when it comes to your peanut brittle, get the best that you can find. I happen to have a company just coincidentally contact me a little bit before I shot this video. And uh, they're a peanut brittle company. It's called Uncle Ray's Peanut Brittle. There you go. They make a lot of different flavors, and you can find them online. I'll put their link down below. But uh, they make one that's really hot here in Texas. I mean, not hot, spicy, but it's, it's uh, they can't keep it in stock, man. It's got bacon in it. Bacon in your peanut brittle, okay? <laughs> this is actually a piece of it right here. Y'all check that out. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Hopefully that sun's catching it just right. Y'all can see the little bits of bacon in there. This is a hot seller right here, folks. That's what we're going to use on the burger. And what you want to do, get you uh, some type of a, a container, you know. Put your peanut brittle in the container. Like so. And Greg's wife came up with this idea. What we're going to do, we're going to blend, you know, food process this uh, peanut brittle. Turn, kind of turn it into a chunky powder, all right? But peanut brittle is real sticky. You need something to try to keep it from sticking within your food processor. So Greg over Ballistic Barbecue, barbecue his wife said, why don't you try some peanut butter powder? <laughs> yeah, fabulous idea. It works, all right? So what you want to do, let me get you down here where I can show you what I got going on. Got your peanut brittle here. Just coat peanut brittle with the peanut butter powder, okay? Give it a nice toss. Coat it really nice so that it's not sticky on your fingers anymore. Okay, and then we're going to take that and we're going to put it in a food processor and we're going to just grind it all up and that way it's going to be a powder with some chunks in there. So we're going to do that. We'll catch y'all back shortly. So I took these onions and I rinsed them in water three or four times just to make sure they don't have any more salt in them. And now we need to cover them up with some lemon juice. So I'm going to do that. And also throw on some brown sugar. This is what's going to pickle our onions. Just let those keep going for a little bit until you're ready to use them as a topping on the burger. All right, let me show you what not to do. <laughs> I went ahead and uh, put this in the food processor and I think I over pulverized it. It's got some chunks in there, but uh, the idea is to leave some chunks of that peanut brittle so that when you bite into that burger, you get some of the chunks of the peanut brittle. So I went a little too fine on mine, so just keep that in mind when you're doing yours. As you can see, my coals are hot. We're going direct first. I've got two eight ounce patties, one for each of us. Eight ounces, half pound, just in case you didn't know. Damn, <laughs> throw you some kosher salt on there. Pop that baby down on there like that. Put the other side. I'm gonna do the same with the other one. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to let these things sear up on each side for, uh, I don't know, a couple of minutes. And then we're going to put them in direct and, uh, you know, away from the fire. Put the lid on it, let them finish cooking until they get like a nice medium, medium rare or whatever cook temp you want, okay? Do it how you want it. Oh, and also I want to tell you that uh, I tasted that, uh, that gastrique and it was a little spicy because I had three of those adobe peppers up in there, the chipotles, I'm sorry three of the chipotle peppers in there. So I took one of the peppers out before I started mixing everything in the food processor and then uh, processed it all. And it was still a little, little hot for me personally. So I'd added some more orange juice, maybe another quarter cup, and also maybe another teaspoon of, uh, or maybe a couple teaspoons of the lemon and lime juice. And put a little bit more raw sugar, maybe another teaspoon of that in there. And that kind of balanced that heat for my own taste anyway. Just giving you a heads up. If you don't like the way it's tasting, fix it up, you know, make it your own. All right, we're going to keep cooking, bring y'all back when these are getting close. Now right, these are getting pretty close. We'll go ahead and add some white cheddar cheese to both of these burgers. This sharp cheddar, by the way. Put your favorite cheese on there. All right, let's see how the cheese is looking. Oh yeah, I think those are just about done. Go ahead and pull them off. Let them cool down just a tad bit. You toast those up some buns. Now I don't have one of them uh, flat trays like uh, my buddy Greg does. So I've got my hamburger buns. I'm just going to stick them upside down. I've got them buttered already. I'm going to stick them on this pizza tray. Stick this pizza tray over my hot coals. 
And that's gonna toast my buns. All right, I spun this around. It's only been like a minute, but you just want a light toast like that on there. I'm gonna take these buns off right here. Woo, that'll get hot. Take that off of there. I think these may be getting a little burnt. Nope, not yet. Almost. Here we go, folks. Now let's go build a burger. All right, as you can see, I got a mess here. I already made Karen one. Spin this baby around. Let's see if we can get going on my burger. Got to start off with some Jif. This is the creamy. Put this on your bottom bun. That's the bottom bun, T-Roy. There you go. Put it all the way out to the edge, as Greg says. You don't need a super thick layer. Just however much you want. About like that. That'll work for me. All right, now we need to go on with our crushed up peanut butter powder right here. Let me zoom you out a little bit, man. This is getting kind of crazy. There you go. Now you can see me. All right. Going on with some of that. And this is, when you bite into it, this is what's going to surprise you, man. This is, this is some good stuff right here, man. I don't think this burger makes it without this powder. There we go. Now we're going to go on with our hamburger bun. I mean, our, our hamburger itself. Okay. We're going to go on with two slices of bacon. I'm just going to cut them in half. Like so. All right, going with our pickled red onions, like so. And this is that gas streak after I uh, put it in the food processor. Go ahead and throw some of that on there as well. It's gonna be a messy burger, folks, but it's gonna be good. Top it off, give it the hamburger smash. See so if we can cut this baby open. And let's see how well I cooked it. I probably overcooked it, but what the heck. No, actually I didn't. How about that? <laughs> let's give us a taste, guys. Y'all check this out, folks. Check out all the different layers of flavor in this burger right here, man. Can y'all see that? It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, let's give us a try. Haunch position. Holy man. Mm. What I first pick up is those pickled onions. I'm getting a little bit of heat from that uh, gastric. Mm. There's the peanut butter. A little crunch from that peanut butter brittle. Make sure you get you some really good beef, 80 20 or 70 30 when you're doing this. Folks, this is amazing. You get a little bacon coming in at the end and that peanut butter finish it off you know as a layer on your bun buns help too this is fabulous guys truly a fabulous burger i've had quite a few burgers in my life as you know this one is my favorite recipe be, be recipe will be down below uh hope you go try it out let me know what you think about it hope you all enjoyed this though y'all give me some thumbs up hope you share the video when you do Please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody. Quick update, guys. When you're eating this burger, put the peanut butter and peanut brittle on the top. And then take a bite of it. You wouldn't believe how much better it tastes that way. I don't know why that is, but I asked, Karen was out here you know, trying to get my attention as I was finishing this video. And she was like, flip it upside down. So I did, and I was like, Holy cow, that's good. Yeah, flip the burger upside down. The bottom bun on top, top bun on bottom. Try it that way, folks. Thanks again, appreciate y'all watching. Thumbs up, share the video when you do. Please explain to everybody that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.